Hi, this is Christine for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm going to make a project using a mini coffee cup. So, so here, here are the items that you, you can, can get buy. From all of these things that I've cut stamps. out a sleeve. I've from cut out a mini a, coffee cup sleeve and decor um, die set. This is a mini coffee cup set. Isn't it adorable? So with a lid. So the sleeve will go fit perfectly on this mini coffee cup. And you can close it like this. You'll see me do it later. I'm just showing you now kind of the final, you know, what you can do with it. So I want to decorate this coffee sleeve. And here's the coffee bean stencil. And I want to show you a little trick. So I've labeled it on the bottom with a Sharpie pen um, on both of them. So that, because I'm not very good at this, that way I can line it up easily. I can see what part I'm using or how I'm placing it on there and then I can make sure to line up the second one that way as well. So just a little trick if you need help and um, it's so awesome because there's an outline of the other side of the coffee bean so you can line it up perfectly. And so here I'm going to uh, make things go a little faster. So I've sort of lined it up with the little asterisk in the corner of the coffee cup sleeve and I'm going to tape down um, using this purple tape which um, comes off, adheres very lightly. So I'm going to adhere the stencil and then I'm going to start ink blending with Distress Oxide Espresso ink and a Trinity Stamps uh, blender brush. And it works so well. As you can see here, I'm speeding it up, but it really goes on very easily and very full coverage. And so I've really covered it really well there. And there you can see. So I have a little mistake that I saw right away. And actually, if you just use a sanding eraser, it'll come right off and nobody will even know about it. So I had a little area on the coffee cup sleeve because the stencil isn't made for it. So it's made for six by six paper. And um, so I'm just adding a few more coffee beans to the side just to fill it up. Okay, so now here, and by the way, you want to rinse your stencils. And with Distress Oxide ink, all you have to do is run water over it and it comes right off. It's super easy. So here I'm lining it up. And again, so I'm reusing some of the purple tape, which you can do, or you can just use fresh. I only reuse it so often after this, I'm going to uh, pull out a fresh one. So here I'm doing the other side of the coffee bean. And as you can see, you can line it up so easily. It's very hard to see there's an etched mark and it's, it's just so easy to line up. And I'm so thankful for it because someone like me really needs something like that um, to get it perfectly there so right um, so I didn't show the last three that I did but here I've already done it so now I'm going to show I add even this is espresso ink the final project looks almost kind of like a golden brown and it's because the espresso ink um, interacts interacts with, with the paste and this is a paste the, from Cosmic um, Shimmer paste that I'm putting on now paste. and it is in Frosty Dawn a Sparkle and it has these little golden flecks in there and I, I just love it I'm almost out of it so I need to buy and I wish they had this in bucket size because um, I love it that much I, I use it I sometimes just paint it on images um, so you want to use kind of a light hand but um, because it can smear underneath and occasionally I have that happen so I try to use a very light hand try to make it as even as possible try to get the extra off and um, yeah just smooth it on there and I don't worry too much about it because invariable, invariably I will have, you know, something not look totally perfect, but that's okay. So just smoothing it out and you won't be able to see it yet reacting, but you, you might be able to see some of the sparkle um, already. So I'm going to pull it off and you should start to see a little bit of a difference, but um, the end result is really pretty and it needs a little while So 
there you can definitely see the sparkle and it's starting to react. So here, I didn't show the second part, but here is the final project. So I made a little tag and I've put the tag on a string and that's kept in place by the stir. And it says, so thankful for you. And that's from the Autumn Sting, uh, Sing stamp set. And here are all the items. And as you can see, it's more of a golden brown color of the sleeve. I cut a mini sleeve as well um, with just craft paper. And so I'm just seeing how it's going to go. Just want to make sure I like it the way it looks. And I've die cut some other images from the mini coffee cup sleeve and decor die set. And all of these items are for sale at Trinity Stamps, including the mini coffee cups. And it's super cute. You get them in a pack of 10. And I already know that I'm going to do other projects with them as well. So this is a cute little fox from the Autumn Forest Friends set. And I hadn't used that stamp set yet, and I, I love it. The critters on there are just so adorable. So here I'm just going to put some adhesive. And I don't like to put the, start, the strong adhesive till the end, till I make sure I really like the way it looks. So I'm sorry, I'm a little off camera. And there's a tiny little tab and it fits perfectly. And I'm just going to add some adhesive here. And it's so cute. I mean, you can put little candies in it, whatever you want. And I decided for the end project, I have two little mini coffee beans from the same coffee cup sleeve and decor die set, which um, is in there. So, um, and there, I'm just adhering that. And I think it came out really cute. So the final image has, yeah, two little coffee beans. So I hope you like this project. I hope it inspires you. And thank you for stopping by.